So I've never heard of this fan film before you brought it up. Never knew it existed. And what? Never knew what it was. <laughs> so I looked it up, obviously watched it. And in the first three seconds, it's Mara Jade. And I went, this is why I don't know what it is. All right, kids, here we are for another special episode. We have a guest. Uh, Lacey's joining us, our resident Star Wars expert, and we're going to be talking oh, about... Expert. Of course. A lot of pressure now. <laughs> we're going to be talking about this movie I picked up at a thrift shop here, a, a VHS, uh, it's the <laughs> widescreen version of Star Wars The Dark Redemption. Lacey had never heard of this. I had never heard of this. Lee, had you heard of this? I was an expert in this. No, I've never, I never heard of this. No. <laughs> I, I was uh, super interested. I, I saw that box. I'm, I'm like, oh, what is this bootleg thing? This will be fun. And I'm like, oh, it's, it's not a bootleg. It's a fan film. Interesting. An Australian fan film from 1999. So, so Mara Jade, uh, as I understand, is not your favorite character, is the star of this. I don't know if it's not not my favorite. I've just never gotten into her storyline and stuff. Like, I know who she is, and I know why people like her. It's just I've never gotten into it because it's a lot of legend stuff, and I never was really into the legend stuff. I was into what was canon, which, you know, not to, like, name drop here, but on our podcast, we did have J.W. Rinsler, the late, he passed away recently, unfortunately, but he worked with George Lucas, and he was a historian and wrote a lot of books with, uh, about Star Wars. And he told us on our podcast that George Lucas did not like Mara Jade. George couldn't stand <laughs> Mara Jade. And he just thought the whole thing was so not Star Wars and not his vision of Star Wars. Who were Stoney who was doing the novels told me, or anyway, told me they were killing off Mara Jade. And I said, ooh, I get to tell George. <laughs> <laughs> like, he totally did not recognize her as a character, didn't think it was legit. And he saw all the Legends books as kind of like, Oh yeah, these are people just having fun with Star Wars. Like that's, it, it's okay Man. if they they do this, but like it wasn't his story to tell. He like really hated Mara Jade, so <laughs> it's just one of those things that it's like I understand why fans like that. Everybody's got a favorite character. I get it. I just have never gotten into her, so it just made me kind of laugh that I'd never heard about this film. And in the first five seconds, here's this character that's such kind of a. Uh, I don't know what the word is. It's just like a very like hot topic with fans. Like you always know yeah. where someone is I'm on the spectrum of Star it. Wars and where they hmm. stand with Mara Jade. When the new things came out, there were all these rumors. It was like, oh, there's, she's going to be in the next one. And, I, and yeah. for the whole time, Carrie like, Russell's I, Mara Jade. Yeah. Everyone uh, was Brie Mara Larson, Jade. Julianne Moore. <laughs> yeah. You can see fake thumbnails. People were like, yeah. oh, it's happening. They she just met changed with this their person. hair. They yeah, masked it's crazy. the hair and then changed and it to red in the huge so section much of Photoshop. Yeah, there's so much cosplay <laughs> to do it. It's this big thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, uh, chicks who dig Star Wars make screen names that have Mara Jade in them with a bunch of numbers and stuff. And I was like, I don't know who this is this is some star wars nerd stuff so i expected to come in here and have you be like this is great i'm so happy this is my favorite thing in the world i don't think I was this like, movie would go into a for war that zone. character though it's it's not it's not like this oh this triumphant tale of this amazing character it it like you know i don't want to tip my hand too early but it's kind of a movie where i'm like it just doesn't need to exist it, it, it really <laughs> doesn't especially now with the new canon and i know i read some of the comments because i watched it on youtube it is on youtube if you'd like to watch it yeah it's, it's better quality actually on youtube than it is on, on, on the vhs because i ripped this and then i was like oh what's this? oh, oh I'll, I'll use that one i think the guy actually uploaded or something because it's, it's better yeah and i think there's a lot of this like kind of fan community nostalgia thing going on with people which is fine like i would be proud of this project too if i took all the time to make all the costumes and sets and visual effects and everything and there's no doubting that a ton of work went into this and that like people really cared about it it's just when you look at it you're like okay well rogue one unexplains all of this sure. <laughs> like, well, it that's just the problem you run into when you're not a canonized uh, you know right you're, you're, you're a fan right. film but it is a fan film that is well, virtually yeah. a million dollars a minute which is unfathomable how they didn't make more like you know like a lot of that money sink must have been like you said the, it's the costumes it's the, it's the sets the props 
those the don't go effects, away. Yeah. Well, the visual effects, like, yes, once you have it rendered, you own that. You can use it again. But, like, right. for the all the things that are tangible, you you actually have those. There's not a real reason as to why they didn't make more things. Just right. piss that money away unless they immediately, like, had to sell it <laughs> just, just to <laughs> keep a roof over their head. It's just it's right. crazy to think that this was... Well, what was the number again? I remember it being, like like in the 20s of millions of dollars. Did anyone catch that thing? I remember reading it, I thought on IMDb, I, and I now thought, when I look, it's not there. I thought it was $30,000, not not any millions of dollars. Hey, I was going to say, the, I don't know if they spend millions. Cheap millions. Cheap yeah. Maybe I'm totally out of my mind. <laughs> let, me, let me Google this. I could have sworn what, I hey, read... What, so while you're looking that up, I come at it from the opposite direction. I don't care about the canon or the universe or anything mm-hmm. like that. Mm-hmm. I've seen probably dozens of fan films that are really just like, you know, Star Wars fan films. that are just demo reels for someone who just figured out how to do the lightsaber effect, right? And there's nothing. There's recent it. ones I, that are really well, good. Like, I was going to say, I, I, I enjoyed, I think, almost all of them more than this. This was so boring to me. And I was like, <laughs> I, I watched it 10 times. It's so short. I'm like, I'm just going to keep watching it until I understand why, you know, why this is supposed to be good. Well, you know, why this is beloved or like a important and it never clicked with me i, I never got into it yeah i don't like it. I, I don't know where i read that from i must have been reading like the like like one of the real star wars budgets or something yeah 30 30 grand u.s dollars so uh you i mean know, that's still a lot of money to me oh, no, yes. <laughs> no and and they should still money. be proud it's still this yeah. this like detailed uh you know a lot of stuff going on thing with a lot of but the same thing things. applies they still spent that money on the props unless they were like because there's such a wide variety of quality of things i'm wondering if it's not just like hey everyone who would normally go to the local star wars convention you have a cool costume want to show up give you 20 bucks like type right. of a deal because right. some of those costumes I'm like, I'm like that is prosthetics that looks great other times i'm like that is a halloween costume yes you <laughs> got that from the halloween store uh the yeah. story is that the director of this worked for an australian premium television company mm-hmm. named foxtel and and there's a lot of hosts and people who'd be like hello my name's whoever and i'm here with the just some random <laughs> person who talks and you know into the camera all their imdbs are like themselves 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 uh-huh. and like two episodes of this they the only real actor is the Garrick guy or whatever. I hold the real power on Kessel. Or like not not literally, but mostly. The only actor who's <laughs> acting is like that guy. Whatever. Um, fine. I hated it. <laughs> Can we go into spoilers? If you need a place to rent content, you better listen. We're cannibal video and we eat the competition. <laughs> Okay, we're, we're, we're headed into spoilers. <laughs> you know what's funny? I came into this being like, I don't want it. Because the last time we watched the Ewok Caravan Adventure. of Courage. The masterpiece, yes. And like, <laughs> look, there were things I appreciated about that movie, Warwick Davis, etc. But I felt I left that, which is not my, this isn't my cup of tea to go into something being like, this is terrible. So I was trying so hard to find something to pull from this that I'd be like, you know what? But this could be good. But it was like, this is even worse. <laughs> than that oh, thing. well, yes. Because I, I, I said earlier, th- it doesn't need to exist because it, it just ends with me asking questions about yeah. the things that happen that will never be explained because it's not real. <laughs> like like the, the Mara Jade character. So like her her beginning to end arc there, I'm like, what the fuck? Does that doesn't make any sense. Like like is there more expounding upon from the from the backstory here? But she is she is in with the rebels for long enough that someone gave her the Death Star blueprints. Your Highness, I think you should say this. In Legends, she marries Luke Skywalker. That's like okay. her. She is sent to kill him, but falls in love. But falls in love with him. And like, she works with the Emperor at one point. She's like the Emperor's hand is what they call her. Uh, she basically was someone that was on the bad side that then converts to the light side and then ends up marrying Luke Skywalker. So in canon, she wasn't on the good side. In the legends, side, the, not in legends. canon. In, legends, in, in, yes. In the in the in the world where this exists outside of this fake world that is fan made <laughs> is what I mean. So there's like levels. Yeah, canon, one which level, is not three level, levels. Then right. one down, which is legends, which is what took place during the time before Disney bought it and erased everything. Yes. Erased everything. And then there's an even deeper level, which is like fan fiction, canon, or fan fiction headcanon uh fan films that's where this lives which in 1999 this would have been not you know not yet addressed in the official canon stuff so before you could just, phantom yeah, Menace, yeah you could just fantasize like oh yeah. yes this is what ah. and then I, several movies came out to be like no 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 it's just like not happening or whatever yeah. and like they also the did a lot of, of fan yeah they did a lot yeah. of fan festivals and stuff at celebrations too so sure 
you know, 99 is prime time for this kind of stuff. <laughs> and and I, like, <laughs> well, I read that this was for a contest and they submitted and they got disqualified <laughs> because, because of some like stupid and like what? to, okay. I need more details there. <laughs> they claim that it's because uh, they used certain elements that weren't like allowed or they went too far with whatever the, some like thing, like, you know, like, like you didn't follow the charter of this contest. Yeah, My head canon is like, I would not want to be associated with this, you know, at, at all. And Lacey, you filled in. Like, like if George was involved in making any of the decisions, or anyone who knows him, they'd be like, "This is all about marriage." And like, like, no, get rid of this. He'd be like, this "No, I hate it. no, I don't I want hate this." To get out of here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so wonderful. <laughs> it's it's in this it's in the weird middle ground where it's not cheesy enough to be fun and charming, and it's not good right. enough to be yeah. a film I'd want to watch again. But I did watch this twice just for this, and thank God. <laughs> uh, it's just like it's weird. Like these characters are are just like irrationally dumb, and like you have like lines like a guy gets pulled and dragged by Boba Fett, and he's like, "That was a drag." <laughs> What a drag. <laughs> like, these are lines that I expect from, like, a cartoon that, that like, isn't taking itself seriously. But well, C-3PO does say, much. what a drag, when he gets dragged by R2-D2 in Attack of the Clones. That That is a line that comes eventually in Star Wars, but yeah, no, I... So you're agree. saying they stole it from this? <laughs> <laughs> We're saying that it's a Star Wars, you know, you know caliber line. It's, like, in... in a lot of whatever. lines yeah. were repurposed for this, that you can hear lines from A New Hope yeah, yeah. and stuff, and you're like, oh, that's where they pulled that from. But yeah, no, I totally agree with you i think the problem for me is at the end of the day star wars is made for kids like 12 year olds george lucas mm -hmm. always said that so you have to kind of look at these movies that even though as adults we are obsessed with them and we love them there has to be a level of child wonder and excitement and fun that go with these movies like even though there's darker themes this was sure. just dark this was just there were, there's a moment we'll get into it where it's just like i was like are they really gonna go there uh <laughs> so it's the Sleeping it Beauty a, scene? Yeah, yep, <laughs> yep. Leave us. I was okay. like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, a guy gets a little, a little rapey. But, you know. <laughs> yes, exactly. I was like, that is that is a, a line I don't want in my Star Wars crossed in my Star I Wars. Go to my notes and just release, you know, you know, delete the section of my favorite scene and take that out. <laughs> I'm not good. Just all the characters across the board, if you like take their beginning to end arc, I'm just like, why are, why is anything even happening? And then like like that guy, the rapey guy, it's like, okay, so he is in with uh with, with uh job of the hut and and he is there to like, you know, probably make some coin off of this spice getting shipped off the you know the planet. He Which solo the then also erases, by the way. All this Kessel yes. stuff that they talk about yeah. that the Empire's running Kessel, it's run by the Pike Syndicate, which is established in Solo, and it yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Isn't it sad when your fan film guy doesn't do his research. <laughs> well, I mean, prior to like, how many years is that? I'm terrible doesn't at that. When he doesn't get a time machine and do his research. <laughs> yeah, how <laughs> dare he? How dare he? <laughs> but it's just this this character, like, you know, shooting the, you know, the boss, doing all this stuff. Like, it just, it felt very like, eh. Like, you're you're either on Jabba's side or you're not. You either want to stop the spice from getting off the, off the planet or you want to help it. And at, at any given time in this, he's on either side of that fight. <laughs> like, oh, no, I gotta use a no, tractor so beam or whatever and stop this from getting off there. That spice isn't going anywhere. But what? <laughs> you, the, what? The crawl says Boba Fett was sent to make a deal. I watched this movie 10 times. And, <laughs> <laughs> and, and now I'm like, what deal was he making? What are you talking about? Anyone? Yes? No? No, it doesn't. At what it, point did he make a deal? Like, okay. It doesn't make sense. He didn't. Whatever. There, there's random aside. And he teams like up with Solo boss. at some point. That's the other thing. It's like they. <sighs> and, yeah, well, he has to get Jabba his. The, the spice must flow, so he has to get Jabba the spice. It's so he just, blows up the thing. He he blows up the remote control, the TV remote. Just the whole shoehorning, the getting the the Millennium Falcon in there in the first place was. I was oh. like, oh, okay, fan service. But then ending it with him saying like, oh, what's he gonna do? Put a bounty on my head? I'm like. Go to hell. I can handle Java. What's he going to do? Put a bounty on my head? I threw up. I vomited a little. 
<laughs> someone played Han Solo in this, and I was just like, no, you don't ever. An do uncredited that. <laughs> person. He didn't, he didn't want anyone coming after him. He, because you ask your friend, can you do a Han Solo impression? Like, how's your Harrison Ford? And they assure you it's great. And then you get there and he's doing it in the booth. And you're like, this is nothing like it. We have to print it today. Today is the day of the contest. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. And then it's all, so awesome. they just threw some filters on there, made it sound kind of like radio radio. -y, and then they were like, eh, it's good. Got and it took, it took me a little while to put certain things like that together. I was like, I, I didn't even know that that voice was supposed to be coming out of that thing yet for like the first <laughs> sentence or two. I was like, this is a, it, whatever. It's, it's weird, <laughs> like how the thing opens. So there's that crawl and then there's no like establishing shot. You're like right into a scene and like yeah. the girl's just getting like slammed to the wall. <laughs> We're right into it, and then like that scene's over, and <laughs> we're somewhere right. else. Like, right. Okay. Filmmaking, you got it. <laughs> the filmmaking I do have is to say, really bad. Go the ahead. filmmaking isn't great, but I have to say there is one shining thing that I did enjoy. The guy who's playing the admiral, who ultimately gets shot, is a very mm -hmm. good actor. He did a very good job in this. You are found guilty on the charges of subversive activities against the Galactic Empire. You will serve the remainder of your life here. And I remember watching it being like, okay, everyone else is kind of subpar, but this guy like is doing a good job. He sounds like an, an admiral or someone from the Empire. He has that kind of, you know, Tarkin accent and stuff. He did a good job. Um, I also enjoyed he, he the on-location shots. He switched his accent from just his native Australian to space British, which is yes, what Star Wars demands. He slightly there tweaked a it a little that. bit. There's not too much Australian <laughs> accent for an Australian fan well, film, which I'm like, okay. Yes, but a lot of it is just a weaker Australian accent. No, no agreed, but, but you You're about to talk about level. the slaves, right, on the uh, picking the, 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 the spice. I appreciated the, that they yes. actually went out into a desert to shoot this. However, mm. it didn't look like a mine. That is my one. No, no it was like, an open field that's, of sand. That's what I was joking. Yeah. They were just like picking flowers in like the desert somehow. Some I weird, couldn't look away from two ground. things in that scene. One dude has a really ill-fitting backpack, one of the stormtroopers, and it's like like on bungee cords or something that's <laughs> bouncing around. So like my eyes went like right to that and I lock on that. And then there's like a <laughs> droid that's just like... I almost told, I almost said, yeah, they go to the desert with a speaking spell and they like put it in the corner. <laughs> yes. I don't even understand slavery, honestly. Not that I ever did. Uh, I don't understand slavery in, in these terms. When you're in a world where it has robots and things that could obviously be a hundred times better than a human, the idea they have to keep humans alive, or you know, not humanoids alive, and give them food and water, I just feel like it could be so much more efficient with robots. What, what, can we end the, slavery the, already? The droids are also slaves, and that is also canon now. Droids, droids! We all sent here! I'm gonna flip your switch! <laughs> Good luck finding it. We're leaving. They don't even serve our kind here. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, they are, yeah. The As was, bolts. yes. Yeah, uh -huh. right. That, that is a thing that was established in A New Hope. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand slavery. <laughs> Robo slaves. Uh huh. <laughs> oh man, some of the lines, the best ones in the movie are, are from that, like the Asian rescue guy. I didn't catch his name. Did anyone get him? Like ponytail no, I samurai know the other guy's guy. Name. Um, that guy, he's like, hey, I was sleeping. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, that was a little much for me. Everyone knows there was an asteroid strike on Anoit City. Hey, I was sleeping. It, it was <laughs> trying. <laughs> breath. <laughs> they were trying to do this like kind of Han Solo, Luke Skywalker, we're rescuing you type thing. Yeah. But it just didn't. It was. Too far, too far joking hey, for me. They accidentally got two Han Solos though. It was like, oops, all solos. It was like everyone was playing on, and that 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 was screwing me up too. Where like some people, I'm like, okay, Garrick is just a is just a Palpatine. Like like in the like like we just have a Greedo mask and like a whatever mask. Like 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 in 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 the fake Cantina scene, right? Mm -hmm. There's all these dupes of everybody. But then you have real Darth Vader there too, and then you have a yeah. not, and then you have fake Han Solo playing Han Solo, but then you have a real fake Han Solo. Like, like everything was so overloaded trying to like, uh, like uh, turn me on as like a, you know, like, like it's the thing from the thing. Right. And it just like <laughs> totally turned me off. I, it, I could not get into it. Is it, is it, it is it canon that like the lightning is only bad guys? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, usually well, force you, lightning is used yeah. by uh, darker characters. I mean, Ray does use it in the rise of Skywalker, but it's her moment to realize where her, you know, legacy comes from. Mm -hmm. 
You got to be in touch with like, the dark side to, to, to access that part of the right. skill tree when you're putting your points yeah. in. <laughs> well, I know that was true in Jedi but, yet, too, but... <laughs> but yet in The Last Jedi, Yoda like calls lightning from the sky. So it's one of those things that you're like, okay, from your hand? No. Well, see, that's God's yes. lightning. That's from totally sky. Yes. That's sky lightning. That's <laughs> different. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Just, just like, I don't know. So many things where you're just like, what? Like, what was your walk away? And I, I guess it is to win a contest, but you, there could have been such a much more direct <clears throat> path that would have been easier and more likable. Like the fight scenes were, were quick and snappy, but not not good. Just 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 that they were quick. They were snappy. Things were happening. There wasn't a great ability to establish rooms like the one with the big like pit that the person falls. It was down. shot in a closet. Oh, shot my God. Tiny closet. Pit. That visual effect shot where he's like, Ah. The Empire has fallen! <laughs> it's like, no! <laughs> like, there were some fun things with Boba Fett. I was like, why not just, like, make a Boba Fett, like, like you know, her versus Boba Fett or something like that. Like, why be so ambitious with so much stuff? Because this was a fan that went, I need to have every single thing I like about Star Wars in this. Shoving things Mara in. Jade, yes. <laughs> Boba Fett, yes. Emperor, yes. Han Solo, yup, absolutely. Mention of Jabba, yes. Like, like checking I'm the surprised there wasn't this the big green garbage bag Jabba the Hutt cut to. <laughs> 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 and then like the cantina scene was just so long too, because that felt like they were like, look at all these costumes we have, but yeah. like there's the guy well, hitting on the girl that was doesn't. Was that the cameo? That, that, was that the cameo side guy? was so bad. Now, yeah. one of the guys is in A New Hope, I think, as a random guy. This is my last night on this stinking rock. You care to make it a memorable one? And they got him. And, 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 and he's a cameo, so I assume that it's that guy. I assume oh, that's, maybe, that's that a cameo felt guy. So stupid that it yes. has to have a reason, and that I guess would be a reason. <laughs> I would still would have left on the editing room floor because it's it's not worth being in the movie. It slows the pace down. Make it's this dumb. five minutes exactly. Like uh, I don't okay, know. so you were talking about the fights though, right? That's what I was getting at earlier. I've I, I've seen literally twenty something, you know, lightsaber duel, you know, fan films. There's not the way of the jet. <laughs> Where it's yeah. just like, you know, maybe it's just not even Star Wars or maybe it's dudes in robes in like the woods. Right. But half of those do a better job of creating tension. Like mm -hmm. he like kills one guy and then like another guy comes out and it cuts up and he goes and puts the lightsaber yeah. around. And it cuts to yeah. the other guy's face and, and then the you know, music kicks in and you're like, uh oh, he's in trouble now. And like you're into it. This movie is so boring. Nothing. It feels like nothing happens, but something is always happening. And it is like an overwhelmingly numbing uh, meaningless thing. Would you like me to pay a personal visit on Solo anyway? No, thank you, General. Um, yeah, it's the Star Wars version of why is this a movie? What is that one like, Dork Man versus something? There, there's some amazing. That has more tension. Of <laughs> yeah. Like, oh no, what's gonna happen? <laughs> right? What are you like, what it was happened? a lot of repetition, like a lot of the same thing, like Marjay talking to the Emperor, hearing the Emperor over and over and over again, and her staring at the camera, like pushing her lips out a lot, like like this, like the whole movie. I don't know what that was about. I really don't. <laughs> I'm sorry, ladies, like, please don't this do is, that no, on this camera. Is, yeah, I know what that was about, but yes. <laughs> but they were like, we have, an, okay. we have an attractive actress for our for our. But she, she's whatever. really beautiful. Yeah. And I kept being like, stop doing that. Like, just push, stop, stop doing that. that. that and push it was your like, lips out more, push your lips out. Like yeah. where yeah. she's hacking into the system or whatever it is, yes. like. They've acquired a link. Block it. I, I can't. They, they must have hardwired us. Every shot they got Must be hardwired. Her, she was like, like more. And I'm like, I know you're focusing, but just like, bring it back a little bit. Excellent. Bring it back a little bit. That like CD they gave her of like the message disc. <laughs> Gigantic. Like, what? Why does it exist? <laughs> She's on the mission already. She has the file on her necklace. 
Um, you mustn't get caught. This is a disc that says her and mission. She, <laughs> where is, is it? You must in not get her caught. her cleavage, the one place most people will naturally look is in her cleavage. Okay. And so, she's wearing it right here. And she's like, it's a secret plan. And you're like, okay, but why are you? Never you're not going to tuck plans. it like somewhere but, else. My Just, notes say uh, someone breaks in with a mush face. <laughs> Silly. How did you get in here? And and gives her the inside of a CD player. He has an important message from Kyle Katarn. Katarn? That tells her yeah. to go on the mission she's already on. It did, it Mara Jade, please take extra precautions. It's and like then a disc man on a like it's I, 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 it has like a blinking light and like the little dome. I think it's the inside of a CD player. Trust no one, Myra. You're our only hope. And oh. then two <laughs> two lines later, I say, "Oh yeah, she's also wearing the other part of the CD player around her neck." The Death Star information you hope must reach Princess Leia and the Rebel Alliance at all costs. Like the hinge part, the little with the little circle and it's like the just, plastic it's just grooves. So dumb. Like, think about that <laughs> rationally. You like it is all the evidence to kill her that you're putting into the same area she's in that anyone could stop this random mush faced guy. It, it's just <laughs> it's only there for exposition. It serves nothing. Hey, you know that mission you're already on? Keep doing that. Don't let anybody know you're on that mission. Though. Only you Make can sure do this mission. <laughs> And, and by might- the way, you're on the mission. You got caught. You've already failed. But let me sneak in here to give you some type of salad while also giving you the gods. Let me deliver food. I've been down in the spice mine so long. The plans that need to get away from this place that you're currently trapped uh, and you can just wear it out in the open. <laughs> I'm and sorry. Was like, I'm, I'm yeah. dying. I had like salad. <laughs> that, what was that? It was like I a brought salad. you a space salad. You're looking pretty good. <laughs> I've forgotten how good you look. <laughs> like his much face. She has like this chopsticks. Like Gak I guess from in, Nickelodeon. <laughs> yeah, I guess in space they like use chopsticks and like wood bowls and salad. I don't know. It was weird. He's from the mines. He's from underground. Um, that was the thing too with repetition where like she wakes up and beats up the guy, but he's a good guy. And then later, even though this stormtrooper has just headbutted to like knock out, um, fake Palpatine, right? Mm. She still starts beating him up as if he's a bad guy. Can't you see I know? Wait, wait. You've been calling for me. Like, what do you think's happening? Do you think you're like a third party and they were fighting and now you're on, like caught up in it? Like, he's but she can't you. get herself out. Yeah. She's fighting everybody, but she never goes right. anywhere. When she's kissing that guy, I'm like, okay, this is an established relationship, obviously. How long were you undercover for? Like, it 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 boggles my mind from the beginning to end here because I need to know more about this character, and it seems like they just went off on a rail here, and it's not part of what these legends would would have me know. Because like. How long before someone knows you, has your lightsaber, like all these things where I'm like, this seems like a very established relationship. And 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 then immediately I'm going to swan dive off this thing into a pit. Put your faith in the dark side. Mara? Jack, we got to do this. Mara! Meet Papaltine at the bottom and... And, and he goes, Mara! Mara! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you is is Zev Sineska uh, uh, you know Lacey put you on the spot as an expert is that is that a is that a character I am not a legends expert I have person. never heard of okay I've it would heard be of from Kyle anyway. the guy that's mentioned about like Mara here the plans Kyle is a well known uh, legends established character Do not fail the rebellion Mara Do not fail me I don't know who that guy is I just know Mara is married to Luke Skywalker eventually so a lot of people in the comments were like what about Luke why is she making out with this other guy? And I'm like, exactly. Okay. I don't know. It didn't happen yet. This is the future. It's two days before Luke is even in the world. We gotta, we gotta go back. Oh, it's your kid. And I'm party. sorry, if you're in a dangerous situation where you're like on the Death Star or some like, well, it wasn't the Death Star. It was like some Imperial ship. Uh, the last thing you're going to do is be like, hey, let's make out for like a couple minutes here. I'm just like, don't They're you They're overcome leave? with emotion. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Such chemistry. The whole world stops when Boba Fett walks in. Hashik! 
easy. And they're like, like, oh, 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 we're teammates. They turn, the moment they turn, bullets are coming in and... Okay. They're shooting out. It, it's, ah, uh, I, I... Uh. <laughs> it was just a frustrating, boring thing that I, I had such high hopes for. I was like, oh, this is gonna be awesome. Ah, oh, it's, <laughs> it's, 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 it's in color, like... <laughs> it's in color. It's in color. There's people. Oh. It, it was definitely weird. It, and I've, like I said, I, I've watched some uh, fan films like the Star Wars Theory one where he has Darth Vader and it's talking about him with the Emperor. Uh, that one was good. I watched that one and was like, hey, this is pretty good. This is this is a good story. The visual effects are legit. The only thing I had an issue with was Palpatine's shoes. They had him in like pay less slippers. But besides that, <laughs> everything else looked really good. He so shops reasonably. <laughs> yeah. So He's like a frugal man. <laughs> it's one of those things I These see. are orthopedic. They help my <laughs> <Yeah>. fucking... <laughs> I'm 186 years old. I have fallen arches and bunions, you see. So it's one of those things that like when you're looking at something that came out, you know, a year or two ago that looks like that compared to this, obviously yeah. time has helped and video production yeah. in, in itself has helped. But it's just the story, too, didn't really make sense That's to me. Like, I, I was like, I'm I don't judging. get it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't understand. Because, yeah, no, 99, very, this is yeah. over 20 years old. So the visuals, I'm not going to be like, you yes. idiots, what did you film this on? A VHS camcorder, which you might have? Like, yeah, that's yeah. not I'm the very, problem. I'm very proud of us for getting 20 minutes or whatever in without saying, like, it looked like crap or something, because that is not the issue yeah, here no, at all. No, it's the, far the from the issue. Up, it's, it's the script. It's entirely yeah, yeah. All the things that are free I, are what are bad. Yeah. <laughs> I love cardboard sets and goofy effects and whatever. Like, that, that could have been totally fine if they had, like, I don't know, moved the camera into a different place and changed the lighting or something. The make detention center had enough. like a Billy bookcase with stuff on it to make it look <laughs> like legit. Uh, uh. I did appreciate though that when Mara Jade turns evil, her eyeshadow gets darker. They suspected nothing. The Rebel Alliance will soon feel the full redemption of the dark side. Thank you, my master. And she gets like real dark yeah. cat eye. But yeah. that that her voice location too, was like so yeah. shitty, like with just Vader like crushed into the corner, and the two like red ninja evil guys—I don't know what they're called—royal like, guards, yeah. Like it just it just felt like such a a weird squished scene of like, well, why why is that happening? And, and because well, that happened yeah. in the legend story is that she eventually worked with the Emperor, so. It's. I'm not saying the. They tried to that, get it there. They were like, "Here's where we need to go. Here's what we, we want to do. How can yeah. we get to said." Point. It's it's not what's <laughs> happening; it's how it's happening. Yeah, how the they're just pressed was, off, uh, and the, like yes, yes exactly. Yes, it's yes. like oh well, they we do only that, have a um, rendering of him that's seventeen pixels. He has to be small. All right, put him in the back corner. We got no, no. There, there's a there's a shot of them earlier with Vader talking to some dudes on the ship, and they and they do like a fake wide shot where there's like a foreground up. Like Search every ship in the sector. I want those plans found. Beep, boop, 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 beep, of like the consoles yeah. and everything right and it's kind of like that but if you look at them they're standing just like standing they're just there they're not like on the ground properly they're just like floating there kind of <laughs> right. like kind of like that when boba fett picks up the, the the like whatever that alien guy is from the pit he's like mm, and their hands are oh yeah like, <laughs> like, like going through <laughs> each other yes <laughs> grow up laser brain yes yes I forgot that could be about. funny. That's fine. And you can no, see the green screen. That's right. fun. You can see the green that. screen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. This was the <laughs> yeah, thing. Yeah. The green screening was was worse than mine is right now. <laughs> like in this movie. I still think like my Halo favorite album. is ah uh, make smaller. <laughs> yeah. Grab grab the corner. <laughs> at least, at least they made him smaller. <laughs> <laughs> the right. worst is when people just drop him like, oh, he's okay, he's all right. It, it, eventually, it just clips off, and it's a square edge at the bottom of the circle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I, um, I will say this is not a recommend. Is everyone in agreement there? <sighs> I would not recommend yeah. unless you want to. I mean, if you want to have a good laugh, <laughs> I don't it. even. I don't even know if it's that. Like, but like, there's definitely campier, schlockier things. If I wanted to laugh, and it's not yeah. so bad, it's good in really any respect. Like, 
it's too competent in some areas and just far too shitty in others to really hit any part of that Venn diagram of like, I'm gonna sit down with the boys, eat some popcorn, and have a good time. This is right. like, I'm bored, what are you doing? Why God? I'm a completionist. Or you're deep in YouTube at this. 4 a.m., yeah. Yeah. It's, it's at least it's not long. Like, like they say it's like 35 minutes on, on their IMDb, but it's like 24 minutes, I yeah. believe, which, uh, you know, which if you take the crawl and the credits and everything, it's like t- less than 20. It's like 1930. I think it's mm-hmm. just yeah. like burn there. By the way, highlight was the song over the ending credits. <laughs> I was like, it was That's a real cool. song. I was like, yes. okay, they got a band to give them a song. cool just a song that has there's a dark side to blah 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 in the chorus yeah. and i was like okay print it got it good the cantina song sounded like an original song too which was like kind of punk rocky which That's is the same band i think yeah, it's yeah. Like which all, is interesting to me because rock, i'm right? like okay so they're playing punk rock in the cantina and in here but from what we understand they invented a whole type of music for star wars that's like jazzy that wouldn't be punk rock in in the cantina <laughs> That being said, the music was a little too loud in that scene. If they turned it down a little bit. Well, if we're going to nitpick. <laughs> <laughs> little too Audio loud. mixing issues are now yeah. at the forefront. Only because yes. then you'd be like struggling to hear what they were saying a little bit. I don't yeah. Know. Which could have helped. Who is to say? <laughs> I tried to keep track of that too, because like in my head, I was like, "Does the music?" Because like, I, by watch seven, I I know what's happening. So by watch like, seven, I can't yeah, believe you watched it's just it ten like, times. It yeah, was a I was, struggle once for me. It was a struggle. I I did it in different rooms of the house and everything. <laughs> but 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 after seeing it many times, I I started to try to track like, are you know, is there music kicking in? Is it you know, is it scored? Is there stuff? Is it silent? Like like what is it? And after like a scene or two, I I like couldn't keep track of it. It it, it like numbed my brain again. And I and I and I was like, oh, I forgot to do that again. Like like it's it it kept it didn't uh, jump out of me. me. I don't yeah. rec- I don't recall uh, yeah. proper scoring anywhere. But maybe no, I just mean like the music. Stock. If you know, like like um, like it did not the obviously bad, obviously like 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 you know incompetent. But I I tried to track it to be like, where are they going wrong here? And and I was still like repulsed enough that I could not do that or something. It's fascinating. <laughs> Right. right. It's this really is a lot of fucking arcs to be happening in a 20 minute you know, uh, <laughs> short too. Like that's yeah. a lot. It was, a, it was definitely a lot and it was a lot to keep track of. Yeah, I think they bit off more than they can chew. Uh, I'm I'm super relieved. Again, Lacey, thank you. You've uh, you've oh. made me a very happy person. I was afraid <laughs> you were going to be like, no, you're an idiot. Let me explain to you why this is actually good. And Stefan was going to be like, no, the sets are made of cardboard and blah blah. It's great. And I was going to be the only one who, who like hated this movie. But we all hate it for 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 possibly for different, different reasons. reasons. <laughs> it's great. Yeah, I'm so oh, there's just a, so many unnecessary good. things in there. And my number one is definitely like the very straightforward like trying to take advantage of someone while they're sleeping scene like that was so unnecessary not needed in story whatsoever and when that moment happened i was like there's no redeeming this like why would you even include this in here it was very weird yeah where every second is so important and so intentional and they so kept going back whatever. to it i was I, like yeah. are you that doing was the a parallel? panning moment i think they, yeah. they like they're like okay so uh whatever his guy's name is john Garrett. all right you're gonna you're gonna go in for that kiss and we're gonna say cut and then like he went in for it and like they didn't say it and he's, and he, like, and he he's plays, like, like do i He's like, do I still go in for it? What, what's happening? Yeah. Like, it, it was such a weird thing. And I'm, I'm like, okay, that's for petting. They want, they like that angle. They want to keep using more. More is better. More, more. I'm like, no, <laughs> cut seven minutes off this and then throw the whole thing away. And there is so many good examples in film of cutting between scenes, like parallel timeline scenes to create drama. One of them being Silence of the Lambs, where they're trying to bust in the house and they're like cutting oh, yeah. between things. That is like a prime example of like what you should do. This is an example of what you should not do. Like it just made no sense. And the whole time I was just like, I'm, I'm not concerned or anxious. I'm just creeped out. <laughs> like this is- because no. there was no reason for it. It wasn't something they addressed prior, like, oh, he he, he likes this girl as a thing, or he's trying to put right. some Jedi voodoo on her. Like, right. there's nothing. He doesn't even end up going for that kiss. He, like, it's very, and then he, like, very weird. Goes down to the CD player on her neck and is like, ah, yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
Wait, do you not search? At, at first, I didn't catch on my first watch. I didn't catch that he that the dude handed her the lightsaber. So mm. I was like, did they not search these people at all? Did she just pull that lightsaber out? She has her little confidential like ID thing, yeah. or hard drive, everything. Ugh. Fuck and then her lightsaber looks like Luke's from Return of the Jedi. Hey, you've been looking for this? Are you all right? I'll live. Yeah. And well, they're married, Lacey. I don't know if you know. <laughs> not yet, though, because a lot of... I, I was actually... My favorite part, if you watch this on YouTube, guys, is the comments. Go in the comments and read the comments. <laughs> oh, my. I didn't look at because those. Because people were like, you know, Marjay didn't meet Luke until after Endor, Battle of Endor. This wouldn't have happened if this didn't happen. And I was like, okay, I don't feel bad because at least I'm not, like, fact-checking them. <laughs> but someone was saying how her lightsaber is blue, and I remember on the book cover her lightsaber is blue. So it's weird that she has, like, Luke's lightsaber, but I'm sure that's the one that they had to use. Uh, who knows? Hmm. Uh, it's CG, right? They could have I was going to say, they, they added that they in, have... so, so that's <laughs> Why was it... really weird. Yeah, the blasters look horrible. That's one of my favorite things in Star Wars. The, and the, that's like, like a free sound download drop, even in like the 90s. Like, I don't know why yeah. those look so bad. Yeah, because we well, did yeah, like a high school used... project and, and had those. Okay, because they used the, uh, the, 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 like the exact same lightning I've seen in like a million things. So I would, yeah. I, I would think... I, would, I liked the pan uh, during the lightning. I was like, I was like, oh, that's the only interesting shot in the whole fucking movie. <laughs> well, well, when you said maybe the rape, uh, the rapey shot was like, you know, they want to keep using it because it's whatever. There's only a few times where, where the camera is not just flatly at the middle distance, right? Yeah. And that's one of them. One is when uh, Boba Fett plants that explosive pack. Right. There's a few mm. shots where, again, when you, you know, if you've watched it 10 times, you're like, OK, wait, no, they are doing something. There's this like above head shot when uh, when Garrick's about to be killed by Vader with the stormtroopers. Your Excellency. The rebel woman Mara Jade has been recaptured. Where they like fake that there's like a like on like, I mean, like an actual room there. Yeah. I'm like, OK, that's something. But it's like this. It's like nothing. It's whatever. Yes. Yeah. All right, guys, I think that's everything to say about Star Wars Dark Redemption. I don't feel like I was redempted at all in this uh, in this movie. They were not able to redeem themselves yeah. with this crew today. Thumbs down. I'm so sorry to Mara Jade fans that like genuinely like the character because <laughs> this did not do her justice. Well, they must have been scraping right for anything, right? That's why this like got yep. some sort of bump, you know, bump. They're like, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or they were happy because now you don't have people like, oh, I like that character. Because like people that are like hipster, like little character fans hate so much when someone else likes their little character. <laughs> so this people would actually go, Mary Jane, she sucks. <laughs> she sucks. She's my best. Ah, fuck you. How dare you? <laughs> 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 All right, Lacey, tell the people where they can find you. Oh, yeah. So people can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Lacey Gillerin and every Monday and Thursday on the Resistance broadcast, the official podcast for StarWarsNewsNet.com. Bam. All right, guys, until next time, fuck off. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Let us know in the comments below what you thought about it. Don't die in a fire, and we'll see you next time. If you want to support the show, head over to cannibalvideo.com, pick up some merch. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, that's something. Whatever. Fuck these motherfuckers. This was an experience. I didn't even know this existed until you brought it up, and I'm, I'm, I'm not happy I watched it. Cannibal Video has everything you need. Competition. Now it's only us. Our expert staff opinions you can really trust. Come and browse.